YouTube, it's Jen. It's been about two months, so I figured I would check in. Let me start with the numbers. I started my journey in December of 2012 at 262 pounds. Got the lap band. Um, lost, got down to basically the 170s. I had a, got down to 169, band slipped. Had the band repositioned. Um, and then basically lived in the 170s for a while and then started slowly gaining back weight in 2016, 17 and 18. Um, and so I, sorry, I got a text. Um, and went back up to almost, I think I got to like 200 pounds and I talked to my doctor and I'm like, this is ridiculous. And so she let me, um, she helped me get the band uh, removed. Uh, and that was in August of last year, 2018. In December of 2018, I got sleeved. Um, unfortunately, my doctor did not do the sleeve properly and my sleeve is not the proper size or shape. So I got that in December of 2018 and it's been just over, I can't count it, can I? Almost nine months. Uh, but basically my weight loss, so I got the band, I'm sorry, I got the sleeve at like 209 and so basically I got down to the 180s. I think the lowest I saw was when I got really sick and I got down to 184 um, but I've basically been living in the 186 to 188 range. I, my key is to be under 188. Um, I don't like to live my life by the scale so I've um, I have done for the past several months I've been doing blind weighing where I get on the scale every week. I don't look at the number. I have my husband Brad look at the number and all he has to tell me is, am I under 188? And so I have been under 188. And then every so often I look at the number if I have a doctor's appointment. So, um, you know, I saw, if I know I'm gonna go to a doctor's appointment and they're gonna weigh me, I don't want to go there blind and, you know, you go to the doctor during the day after you drink, you know, I drink a ton of water and then you see, and it's not your scale. And so when the, when the scale tells you 195 and you're like, oh my God, it's not real. So I need, I always weigh myself that morning so that I know, um, so that I can be prepared. So I don't, it basically turns out like once a month I, ch I get to see the actual number. Um, and that is what happens. Um, let me turn the ringer off because it keeps texting me. Um, so that's basically how I've been dealing with the weight. I've also, as I've been telling you for the past several months, um, I have gone shopping and I've basically, you know, bought new clothes to make me look good and it's really helped my body image. I now look in the mirror and I don't hate myself. Um, I think part of it has come from, I have gone to um, eating disorder support groups. I know I don't have bulimia or anorexia, but I do have disordered eating. Um, and so, you know, I was talking about how upset I was about the, the sleeve surgery and, you know, wanting to get another revision to bypass and the doctor not wanting to give it to me. And the group leader was like, Jen, a fifth surgery stop getting surgeries to fix yourself you need to just learn to accept yourself the way you are so I am at the point where I am almost happy when I look in the mirror um, but the problem is is like I can accept myself at this weight but I'm so afraid that I won't stay this weight and it's taken me all this time to be okay with a body that's just under 188. If I got, you know, if I was in the 190s, I don't think, I'm still, I still care about the number because, you know, I lived in the 170s and as soon as I went right out of the 170s to the 180s, then I went to the 190s and then I hit over 200. So to me, you know, if I had somebody that could wave a magic wand and say, Jen, you will never lose another pound but you'll never gain a pound I would take that deal any day now I'm happy with how I look and how I dress and I can find clothes that flatter me and make me feel good about myself 
but I still live in a constant state of fear that I'm going to mess up and give in and gain all my weight back. So um, I clearly still have a lot more work to do. Uh, I'm still seeing my therapist. My therapist thinks that she believes yoga is the answer to everything. And, you know, I've seen so many therapists and they're all into like meditation and yoga. Um, and I understand my issue is, is that I don't know how to sit with discomfort. If I'm hungry, I don't like to feel hungry. I eat something. And, you know, doctors will say, um, you're not going to die from being hungry. But I'm, you know, any kind of discomfort. If there's discomfort, just get rid of it. If you know how to get rid of the discomfort, why would you want to sit with discomfort? You know, if you're, you know, that's why I'm always like watching TV or listening to an audiobook. And, you know, I always have to have my mind occupied and I need to be able to sit with myself without using all the distractions to be distracted. So I'm trying to do yoga. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, but I'm doing it because I made an agreement to do it once a week for three months. And for those of you that like yoga, I'm in awe of you. Um, I think it also depends on, you know, the instructor. And I've had one of them that I've liked. But, you know, like last night I went to one that was super woo-woo and like put all like these tarot cards down and said, pick one and this is your inspiration. that This card found you. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. So um, I'm... It's hard for me to even be there, so I don't want to buy in. I'm not buying into all the extra, like, stuff. So if you do yoga, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend anybody. Just for me, it's hard for me to sit still with myself. So obviously, the reason why I don't like yoga is the reason why I need yoga. So I realize this, and I, I realize the irony. Um, I have still been weightlifting three days a week. Um, when I, last year, when I had the band removed in August and then the sleeve in December, after each surgery, it took me about six weeks before I could lift weights again. So I had, you know, that's a total of three months that I lost, um, in really consistent lifting. So, and then every time we went back to lift, it would be very slow. And, you know, my, my trainer is incredibly, um, cautious. So while... Previously, I had been able to bench 130 and I think I think squat 225 and deadlift 235, somewhere around there. Um, I've lost a lot of strength. I can still, uh, today or this week we did maxing out and I could do, I could bench 135, so I'm proud of that. But my squat and deadlifts, you know, I think I squatted, I think he let me do 195 for the squat and... Today we did deadlifts and it was 200, but I needed his assistance because I couldn't get my posture correct. So um, I've lost a lot of strength, but, you know, I'm needing to be cautious so I don't injure myself. Um, I did body fat testing. I did it right before I, um, right before the pre-op diet for this, for the sleeve. Um, and then I did it, I think, a week or two ago. And so I had lost, like, I think it said I lost like 26 or 28 pounds of fat and put on two and a half pounds of muscle. Um, and it's disheartening that, you know, working out for, so I got this the sleeve uh, mid-December. So I started working back with weights consistently February 1st. And so I, and we did, uh, so I think I did like middle of August, I did the, um, the DEXA scan. So I gave myself a good six months of, you know, lifting heavy consistently. And I only put on two and a half pounds of muscle and like made me very sad. And it also, it goes to show you all the people that, you know, they start lifting weights or lifting five or 10 pounds and, you know, the scale doesn't, the scale doesn't go down. They're like, oh, I put on muscle probably. It takes a long time to put on muscle. Um, and so, I mean, I'm working hard at it and it's just not working. But it doesn't matter. I know, like, it also, the DEXA scan also checks your bone density, and my bone density is ideal, probably from the um, weightlifting. So um, I also still do the kickboxing class about five times a week. So that five times a week, weightlifting three times a week, and then yoga now once a week. Um, I have also, what did I want to say? I don't remember. So 
that's basically what has been going on with my life and trying to just, oh, eating. So I think last time I came to you, I started to talk about how I was trying to eat less processed garbage. And in a, in a sense, I have been. Um, those of you that have been following me from the beginning know that I used to have a Quest protein bar addiction. I have kicked the addiction. I don't remember the last time I've had a protein bar. Um, I've been able to give those up pretty well. Um, and instead now, my snacks during the day are either fresh fruit, which my body is, you know, I've never been a fruit or vegetable eater, so my body is very confused right now as to why it's eating so much fruit. Um, so I either do fresh fruit or nuts. So that has been my snack for a few months now so that I can really try to, you know, not put garbagey foods like chips or, you know, food that has no nutritional value. And I'm, I'm not knocking if you eat processed food, like I'm still eating, like for lunch I have a chicken burger made by um, Adele's. They make a great chicken hamburger. Um, you know, I'm sure that's, that's processed. It's not like I'm taking the actual chicken meat and making it myself. But um, I'm trying to not pull protein bars that are, you know, really, you know, they're made out of chemicals and whatever. Um, and so if I can get, you know, fruit in my diet, I figure that'll probably be good. Um, I still need to work a little harder on the vegetables, but hey, baby steps. So I guess that is all there is. Um, just figured I'd pop in, say hello. I know when people don't make videos for a while, everybody assumes that they've fallen off the wagon, set the wagon on fire, and uh, cook s'mores on that fire. Uh, so I'm just checking in to say I am still here. Um, my weight loss journey, the loss part of the journey, is probably over. I, I could lose more weight, but the work it would take in addition to what I'm already doing, I'm just not willing to do. So I think it's just easier to try to learn to accept my body. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, but that's it. So I hope you all are big losers. Kick some fat ass and I love your faces. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great night. Bye, YouTube.